Action packed afternoon in downtown Greenville. Professional and amateur cyclists race through town as part of the Greenville Cycling Classic. Our Chloe Salsameda takes us to the event. Hundreds of cyclists are riding through downtown Greenville in the first cycling competition to come to the city since 2016. Cyclists from across the southeast strapped on their helmets and hopped on their bikes to ride in the Greenville Cycling Classic. Thursday's competition featured nine races for amateurs and professionals. They might go 40, 50 laps, so each lap could take a minute, so 40, 50 minutes-ish. And they could be doing anywhere from 25 to 35 miles an hour going down our streets. Cyclists rode through the heart of downtown as people of all ages cheered them along. I've watched like the Tour de France and uh, some other cycling events and stuff, but never here in the city. So it's really cool to see just the speed at which the cyclists move and just the competitiveness of you know the races. Dillard Townley was one of the first winners of the day. The course is really great. I liked how there were so many turns, but uh, it was just, um, it was a little, it was pretty hard having to stay on the front the whole time like that. This was the first cycling competition to come to Greenville in years. Those who organized the event say it was a no brainer to bring it back to the city. <laughs> For anybody that likes to ride a bike and comes to Greenville, it's amazing that without, without uh, hesitation, without any fail, they constantly remind us all that this is a fantastic place to, to ride. As the sun set, the crowd prepared for the biggest and longest race of the day, where 130 professional cyclists competed for the grand prize. That will be about an hour and a half race, 70 laps, and that will be thrilling. It's like a freight train flying down the street. In Greenville, Chloe Salsmeda, 7 News. Today's competition is part of the Speed Week race series. There are, of course, races coming up in Spartanburg tomorrow.